October the 12th, 2024. Here we are at Love Farm Stay in the hillside of the Algarve, enjoying a coffee together. I'm really glad that I had the idea to start the process of dumping some gravel down to make a road and some pathways because uh, we've been having these spotty torrential storms. It comes hard and fast and then stops. Now we're kind of in between. But the next few days, the forecast is entirely rain. But welcome, welcome to the rainy season here in Portugal. So contrary to some opinions that you may hear, there is no drought as of this moment in the Algarve in Portugal. I'm, I'm open to other people's interpretations of what drought is, but as you can see, when we first started shopping around in the Algarve for some land, we were driving all the way through Portugal from the north all the way down to the south here. And we noticed that the hillside and all the trees off in the distance were all lush and green. We had this misty fog layer. The misty fog layer out there. And we noticed that when we first came to Portugal and we were like, wow, it's like God is taking care of the Algarve. I had never seen anything like the Mediterranean climate like this before. So yeah, the problem here now isn't watering. The problem is, Tyler was saying, we should dry them, <laughs> dry the plants. But yeah. You can still see the dew and the rain on the banana palms here. So now my my new plan during this rainy season is I'm going to dig trenches out to connect all these um, plants now that I've seen where the water pools. And I'm going to fill this middle circle with gravel. And I'm going to put a path straight to the fire pit, maybe around it. And I'm going to utilize uh, what I now know about w where the water flows and um, make some gravel pathways. That's the plan. You can see where I was dumping gravel uh, and where I stopped yesterday. Basically, I got right to about there. <laughs> and it's super handy because when you're walking around in flip-flops, uh, instead of picking up mud all over your flip-flops... Uh, you can walk on gravel, and you don't have a thick layer of mud on the bottom. So, that's the new plan, is to put gravel all the way here. Desiree was saying, in the pergola area, I can fill it up the whole square. And then I told you guys about the circle. I'm going to do dig trenches under to connect all the plants. If, it will, if and when it rains, they'll have a, a system to water, to share the water. And uh, yeah, you can see the pathway here, but that's kind of the idea with gravel. It'll keep me busy for a while, that's for sure. But yeah, I, I, I'm super happy that I put some gravel down. You guys might remember my coconut um, palms here and little pathway. I filled this with gravel too, so that we could feel a little bit better about walking through here. I might add some more. And um, our friends with the with the digger equipment, are probably not going to be here today. They need to be able to move their equipment safely up and down the roads, but the roads are washed out, kind of like what happened in the Viet Cong, in Vietnam, with weather weapons. But yeah, pretty cool how you can see my secondary road there, all the way up to the road, main road. That was the idea. I'm going to get to the point where I fill in the middle of the tire tracks. But I wanted to cover the tire tracks first, obviously. I put some gravel down here. A lot of it got washed away, but <clears throat> again, the cool thing about when the water gets washed away is that you have, like, see, I'm walking on top of the gravel instead of collecting, collecting mud on my flip-flops or my feet. So that's the benefit. If I was walking anywhere else, I'd be collecting mud, so... Something I kind of had an epiphany moment about. 
so this is going to be the roadway, you know, and I'll fill it in and it'll be a secondary road, which is like our main road. I've already dumped, I think, let's not exaggerate, maybe, maybe 12 barrels of gravel down. So luckily gravel is affordable here and I'm just going to continue road building. But I did the tire tracks first, and next will be the, uh, the the middle. Yeah. But yeah, super, super handy. Definitely recommended uh, if you're in an area with monsoons or rainy seasons. You can't drive on mud safely, so you got to put some gravel down. Um, yeah. And like, again, gravel's affordable, so just keep piling it down until you get a nice walkway way better than walking on mud or trying to drive on mud as this guy will tell you <laughs> after i'm done with the uh gravel here just a little a little improvement the trail out that way sometimes i drive the car in here so i'm gonna Make some pathways here. Desiree said that she wanted the whole bottom of the trellis here to be covered with gravel, so it's all covered. And then my pride and joy, the thing I work the most on is the banana circle. So I dug a pit in the middle where there was already a bunch of water pooling and then I dug pathways to connect everything. I filled them with gravel and then covered the whole thing with gravel. So first I started digging the trenches. Uh, ignore the gang signs, it wasn't intentional. Uh, I did a pathway all the way up the stairs. Hey, that's me. Uh, no filter. Just working out, you know. Uh, then I covered everything with uh, gravel. It looks good like that. That's how it looks right now. Wide ankle. Just a little bit of a panning this way and that way. And uh, that's about it, guys. If you come to Love Farms there, you can see it for yourself. And then over here, I thought, well, we might as well have some gravel around the fire pit. Connecting the tent. Uh, what will be the shed eventually. And the pathway up to the second level terrace. So that's what I was up to. Big improvement, I think. I have yet to do to fill in between the tire tracks. I have to do that, obviously. And then there's another section here that I want to do because I drive the car that way and go around that rock. So I'll do that as well. But that's enough for today. What do you think, Tyler? Really good. Thank you. I'm off the grid. Got tattoos on my ribs. Tattoos on my ribs. I just hit them. Are you tired of reincarnating? Me too. Now show the world that you don't want to reincarnate with this Do Not Reincarnate t-shirt.